One black, one white. Two blades carving away at the untouched ice. Both spinning in unison. This perfect symbol of the perfect duo. But this is no ordinary duo. For this brother and sister, the flow of the edges, the light breeze on their faces, and the near defiance of gravity is more than just a passion. Extremely committed. We're 100% into it, and I think we're going to continue to do it for a very long time. Leonardo and Pilar have been skating since they were five and seven years old, and this has become a full-time gig for them. Instead of living out the teenage life, they're living out an ice skater's life. On the ice two to three times a day for three to four hours, with just one day off. So we normally start our day around 5.30 in the morning to get to the ice rink at around 7 in the morning. And we're there for about an hour and a half. And then throughout the day, we also go do a bit of off-ice training, like for an hour and a half going to the gym. And then we go again on the ice for another two hours. But it doesn't end there for the Maikawas. They hop in the car and head to a third rink for more practice and even more off-ice training. Including coaches, personal trainers, and choreographers, they have a seven-person support team. That's on top of mom and dad. I wouldn't say it's a job because I enjoy it. So yeah, if, if it were, yeah, it's more like um, a full-time passion and hobby. And that passion and hobby will take center ice in just a few days as Leo and Pilar prepare for the Skate Canada Junior Nationals in Victoria. 200 skaters in three levels, including the likes of Patrick Chan and Olympic dance champs Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, will compete in the National Figure Skating Championship. That's really cool. It's a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'm, I'm really excited to um, skate in front of a home crowd. Their family and friends would rarely be able to see them compete, and then of course at this level they've never competed, so it was very exciting when they qualified for our event here. The Michaelis will perform in the novice dance category, and Leo will also compete in men's novice. It's the first time in 23 years that the Canadian Championships have come to Victoria, and it's a chance to see what could be Canada's up-and-coming future stars. For those who do well in Victoria, there's more to come. The World Championships are following this, um, they happen in March, and that's where the senior skaters go after they place Canada gets so many entries. But this duo has their sights set higher than the World Championships, with the 2010 Olympics still fresh in their minds. There is definitely a lot of work that we have to do, but I think it is possible to make it to the 2014. And I think that we will make it if we continue working hard, even harder than we are now. So it's all going to happen right here at the Save On Foods Memorial Centre. Write these dates down. The Junior and Novice competition runs from January 17th to the 20th. Then the big names take over from the 21st to the 23rd. So get your tickets while they're hot. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Iwanishin, your Community News Specialist.